So Robin, this is your first plunge into five axis machining. How is it? it it's, it, it's early days at the moment, but we're trying to break into the five axis field um, by basically having this type of unit where we can um, bolt it on, bolt it off, <clears throat> and we can put um, larger jobs on the on the machine rather than just dedicated five axis unit, which is phenomenal cost just to buy the machine, let alone look for um, work to put on it. How long does it take to take this table off and put it back on and get going again? Right, it's basically just unbolt it, un uncoupling from the, from the inside of the machine. Um, you go onto the setup, you, there's one page on the setup where you just basically turn it on or off, whichever you, you're putting it in or out. Take it off, you're talking five minutes maximum. So this isn't your first XYZ machine, you've bought the XYZ because you've also got experience with XYZ machines previously. Yeah, we started, we bought our first XYZ Mini Mill in 2004. Um, we, were, we were quite, well, I thought this, the Siemens software was um, just up our street really. Quick for doing one-offs and, and programming, simple programming, easy to learn. But it also gives us, gave us the opportunity to break into sort of uh, slightly larger volumes, as in five offs, ten off, fifty offs, um, which we were just starting to get into. And with this new five axis machine, you mentioned to me earlier this control is the newer control or newer than the other machines. Is there any improvement in cycle times or processing speed? Uh, definitely, eight, the 840D is phenomenally quicker than the um, uh, 810D and the 828D. <clears throat> We've, um, you've got uh, rapid speed, uh, rapid feed rates of 42 meters a minute compared to the, um, the older machines which um, are 20 meters a minute. And you've also got, we've also got the 12,000 RPM spindle, whereas, uh, our, older machines are sort of 8,000 RPM. So looking at this machine, one of the first questions I asked you, Robin, was is it a full simultaneous five-axis machine? Because a lot of the time when you buy a three-axis machine in centre, you put a two-axis table on, it's purely for positional. Yeah. But I'm right in saying you can use this for five-axis simultaneous too. Simultaneous, yeah. Um, what drew our attention was actually when it was at the uh, Mac show and it had got the skull on it. Obviously the skull was being machined at simultaneous programming. Um, which is, I thought was unusual when you've got a bolt-on unit, which um, what some of the jobs that we've been looking at recently, <clears throat> apart from being positional, there is a few uh, moves on the job where you need simultaneous, so it is actually ideal for, for quoting that type of work. So with it being a five-axis machine, have you got any examples of parts, Robin, that you've, you've recently produced on this machine? Yeah, we've actually got one here that uh, we've started producing recently. Um, with the, with, on this five-axis machine, with the help and assistance of XYZ, um, WNT su um, supplying the tooling, we've managed to reduce the cycle time on this down to uh, just under an hour. Um, for, a, for, for a new customer, it's, it's important to get our um, cycle times down. So as a, as a partnership, the XYZ, the WNT, together on this machine, it's given you a right result on that component? Oh, oh, oh definitely. Really pleased, with the, really pleased with the results. So how does a small company like Sears Products react to the demands of your customers? I think it comes down to um, having flexible suppliers. As an example, on this on this job, if if we've got um, cutters that break, we can't keep a tremendous amount of stock in. So, but what we can do is, as long as we phone up before five six o'clock, we can get a cutter the next day. And who's that with? It? That's du that's WNT. So if you need so so if you were changing job or. You needed extra stock of cutting tools, you could order it before that time in the evening and you'd get it the next day. Exactly. Even if we're trying to plan um, production, um, we know that we've, we don't need the tool in, in the next two days or three days. We don't have to get it in stock. We can plan it so as it's coming in exactly when we need it. 
And have you, is that your first experience of that type of supplier? Have you had smaller suppliers in the past and haven't been able to offer you that? Yeah, exactly. We, we've, we've used um, smaller, smaller companies that supply tooling, um, a variety of tooling, but we've got to wait two or three days for delivery and it's just, it's critical. And Sears Products was founded 14 years ago grown a lot in the last 14 years are you looking forward to a good year ahead we, we are hoping that in the next 12 months we can start expanding a little bit more as well okay thanks for your time Robin